me now is special teams captain Matthew Slater. Before we even get any further, I got to give you a props. You've played in 213 regular season games, surpassing Bruce Armstrong. Well, that's uh, that's amazing. It's pretty crazy. Uh, certainly, second all time. Never dreamed of of playing that many games. Um, I've been very, very blessed, as you know. And you know, when I think about that accomplishment, it certainly. It's, it's not a reflection of me. I think it's a reflection of the people that have supported me and propped me up over the course of my career. You know, obviously my wife and my family, uh, my parents, uh, but our training staff, uh, teammates, just so many people that have gone out of their way to support me mm -hmm. and allow me to pursue my dreams. So I thank them. Um, I, I really thank them. All the credit goes to them. And you know why you're here. We don't call you after Detroit or Cleveland games. We call you in time of need. Well. Uh, I'm happy to be called on and uh, you know look uh, needless to say it, this past week was challenging for our football team not ha exactly how we envisioned the game playing out but you know we're excited about the opportunity we have to come out and play a, a game in the division against a great football team and try to right the ship and that's the beauty of the NFL you, you hit the reset button and you get a chance to go out and do it again this week. Well, for you being around umpteen years, that means you know this team inside and out. What is the mood in that locker room right now? You know, I, I think we're, we're motivated. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we all feel frustrated with the way this past Monday night went, and we want to get that sour taste out of our mouths. So we're extremely motivated. We know we have a very, very challenging game ahead of us. And uh, we want to put all our focus and energy there and try to go out and play well this weekend. When you look at your next opponent, do you see a different Jets team? Oh, no question. Past? No question. This is, this is a top-tier football team. Uh, the, the way they're playing, the togetherness that you see on tape, the energy, the passion, the execution, the discipline, the physicality. I could go on and on. Mm -hmm. But this is a much-improved football team. Um, this, is, this team's for real, and we're going to have to be ready to play our A game to match up with them. Early in the week, this team had a Halloween party for kids with cancer. And certain teammates came out for that Halloween party. You were one of them. You've been around forever. You, it's your only day off. Why did you come? Well, you know, as a father, um, I try to put myself in the position of those families. I, I couldn't imagine having a child who was sick and, and battling an illness like cancer, any form of cancer, any illness. Um, so I just wanted to come and support and show those families some support and love, uh, try to put a smile on some of the faces of those children. Got a chance to visit uh, with actually a buddy of mine, and I always talk about the platform we have. Mm -hmm. It's important to use it the right way, and I can't think of a better way to use it than to, to connect with some children like that. Were you dressed as? I was a clown. <laughs> I was a clown. <laughs> That's what I was assigned. You know, I would have preferred like Steve Urkel or something like that. That would fit me well. But, uh, you know, there was, it was a great, great thing. We had a great time. Good luck against the Jets. Thanks a lot. You Appreciate it. it.